Hello, welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session, we're going to look at the Hollis Advanced Travel System, so let's take a closer look. So we have a closer look around the system itself. Harness is kept as independent from the, the back wing as possible, uh, using a number of elasticated uh, points. These obviously help to uh, draw the, the wing itself in when it's obviously deflated, so it's not flapping around. It's all made from a uh, very strong Kajura material, so it's very high puncture resistance. Obviously, it will prevent um, abrasive um, damage to the actual material itself. Looking at the harness, obviously over the shoulder, we've got a pull dump to a dump just on the shoulder there. Fitted through a piece of piping, so it obviously keeps it away uh, from snag points or anything like that. Very simple to use, obviously just pull down and it will dump from the rear shoulder. Got a couple of pre-bent D-rings on there, great attachment points for uh, reels or torches or anything else you might want to put on there that's easy access across the top. We've got a loop on there as well, if you want to attach any uh, line through there to uh, important pieces of the kit that you don't want to lose, obviously a second uh, secure attachment point. And across the chest, got a adjustable chest strap, adjustable both sides, so plenty of movement on there. There's obviously quick release as well. Down on the sides, back of the back pad on the uh, wing, got three little D-rings. Again, great for attaching anything out the way if you need to, something like a delayed SMB. You can obviously attach it slightly to your side, Still very easy to get hold of, but just keeps it away from the front of the body. And the shoulder strap itself, again, is adjustable and quick release. A pinch clip, and then you'll just pull down to tighten that. Back against the wing, big attachment point for anything you need to get on there. Quick release system as well, we'll cover those uh, briefly a little bit further on. Bottom of each shoulder strap, got a, some grommet holes for a uh, BCD knife. Nice, easy attachment point there. Was he not supplied with the BCD itself, but it's a very easy attachment point. It's on both sides, so you can attach two if you want. But it's a very easy access point to put, actually put a knife. Come around the front, also got a cam waistband, which has a two inch cot strap as well. Cot strap itself is quick release, so rather than being completely thread through, you can just unclip it, make it very easy to get on and off. It's obviously adjustable as well, can be tightened up to suit. And on the inside, got a very good cummerbund, obviously keeps the BC nice and secure. And then on this side, on the end of the waistband, got a nice little pouch. Put anything in there, you know, keep it safe, like a little knife, a spare little knife. Quick release, again, the adjustable and quick release shoulder straps. Two D-rings, and of course you've got the inflator system on this side as well. Typical inflate and deflate system. Inflate underneath the hose to inflate. And you've got a deflate button as well, or inflation as well, so you just need to hold down the button and breathe in through the mouthpiece, and that will inflate in an emergency as well. Also, that goes over the shoulder. It's not a quick release, uh, a quick dumping on the shoulder, this one. Obviously, it comes with a BCD hose. And there you can see one of the elasticated points for the harness. I also got one there as well. This helps just, as I said, draw in the excess material, just stops it from uh, causing any drag. So, have a look at the back. On the back, you can see it's quite clearly a Horseshoe design wing. Deflation point on the top, which is that over the shoulder dump. Backpack itself has a nice grab handle inside. So once it's on the cylinder, it's quite easy to move around. Also got a stay strap in there. Makes it easy, very easy to set up the cylinder. Once you've set it up once, it's for just slide it on the cylinder. And it'll be in the right place. Single cam cylinder strap. Standard design. Back pad itself has a grippable section in the centre. 
obviously helps to keep the cylinder in place, stops it moving around on sliding up and down once the actual BCD is on. And there you can just see the crotch strap coming through to a big D-ring on the back. So if we have a closer look at the quick release system, the quick release system on the ATS is very simple to use. You have a big pull tab on here. You just need to give it a quick pull and the pulling action draws the locks down so it allows it to slide out the locking mechanism. Then that's secured in by a Velcro tab. We just pull off and then the pocket comes out freely. The pocket itself is another Velcro pouch, which you can obviously put in a fair amount of weight in there, probably up to about five kilos. Big Velcro pad keeps it in place. And you just slide that back in. And then just push the release back and then that's locked into place.